All right, girlfriend hits me. Jesus Christ. How do you know soul having motherfucker? Uh, can we stop with the hacky redheaded jokes? You know what I mean? Do you know how many times I've fucking heard that? That we don't have any soul. I don't have any soul. Did you hear that, sir? Did you hear the wonderful advice that just came from my heart? How could you say that? You know what? Just for that, I'm not giving you any good advice. I'm going to give you some terrible, terrible advice here. I'm 26 and have been dating the same girl for almost a year. She's a dime, fucks like a champ, great job and family, sweet as corn syrups and the whole fucking nine yards. Anyways, about three months ago into the relationship. That's what he called it, everybody. The relationship. You see what he did there? He took the P out, put a T. What's the deal with relationships? He goes, we get drunk at her friend's house and she starts going fucking nuts running around. I try to talk to her and she slaps me right across the face. I was seeing red, but had enough self-control to let it slide. In the past two weeks, however, she has slapped me in front of my friends and squeezed my nuts to the point of vomiting because I was playing around and pissed her off. Wow. She squeezed your nuts so hard you puked? Were you drinking? He goes, this has completely turned me off and had made me seriously consider dumping this broad. Dude, she grabbed your balls and squeezed to the point that you puked and you're still writing me for advice? How fucking hot is this girl? He goes, I'm a big guy and obviously can't respond. So I got to stand there like a dildo and just take this shit. Oh, dude, at what size do you feel like you could come back with an overhand right? Uh, although I got to tell you, there really is nothing funnier than if a guy slaps a fucking... You seen that video on the, on the internet where that woman slaps that security guard and he fucking slaps her right back and she is stunned for like a second and a half and then just puts her hand up like a little kid just goes starts crying. <laughs> I am not pro violence towards women I am not but that is some funny shit and I stand by it go fuck yourself it's fucking hilarious all right she she got the old right there Fred um Oh, right there, Fred. For new people, I've, I've told you what that expression means. But before I do that, I really need the fucking... You guys are using cold lotion incorrectly. You'll be like, Chicago Blackhawks beat the Bruins in six games. That's some cold lotion. That's not cold lotion. All right? Cold lotion is when somebody goes to do something nice for you, and then they it's, it's, there's like something bad about it. Like Nia said, can you put some lotion on my back? That's a beautiful, loving, nice thing to do. But I didn't warm it up in my hands, and I just put it on her back, and it was cold lotion. Do you get it? So I still put lotion on her back. Her skin wasn't dry. I did her a solid, but the way I did it caused, like, this fucking jolt, this uncomfortableness. That is the definition. It's actually the definition is up on, what, the Urban Dictionary or whatever. It is up there. All right, so the Blackhawks beating... The Bruins in six games is not cold lotion because that, that would be like they would have let us win on some level, but also fucking uh, blew out one of our guys' knees. But they did let us win. That would be, I guess, I don't fucking know. Anyways, let's get back to this shit, shall we? So anyways, to, to, to refresh your memory before I went off on that tangent, all right? She's slapping him in front of friends and squeezed his nuts to the point of vomiting. And evidently, um, you know, they're not in the same weight class, so he can't hit her back. He goes, I'm just afraid someday in the future I'll go into rage mode and end up crushing her head on the stove or something and ruin my life. Yeah, dude, you have to get out of this. And then and he goes, I might go into rage mode, end up crushing her head on the stove or something and ruin my life. Anyways, love you and looking forward to hearing you read this in your own clown voice. <laughs> Um, all right. Well, sir, uh, you have to break up with this woman. It's not even a question, dude. She squeezed, she squeezed, she squeezed your balls to the point of you puking. It's fucking over. It's over. All right. 
You need to dump her. And the problem is, is, you know what? Probably nobody has ever dumped her, and that's why she's so fucking out of line. So why don't you do it? You know, you're kind of fucked up now because you didn't do it in the moment. You should have done it the next day and just been like, do you realize how fucking out of line? No, no, don't curse. You just stay really calm and just say, listen, uh, you know, um, I don't want to see you anymore. I just don't. I just, you know, uh, I don't know how to fucking do it. I, I, I can't do it without cursing. You know, you're a fucking psycho and uh, you squeezed my balls until I puked. And um, you haven't even apologized. You're like that much of a dumb cunt. And no matter how smart I am, my kids are going to be cut with your half a dumb cuntness. So, you know, and whenever I see them do something dumb, I, I'm going to know that it's you and that I shouldn't have dumped a load in you. So I, uh, I, I, I just can't see you anymore. Dude, are you going to, when you break up with her, you're going to be wearing one of those dog you know, those suits you wear when you're training a dog how to attack people? A little beekeeper hat and a cup. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir, if, if you're actually, you know, having fantasies of slamming your head on a stovetop, yeah, I would definitely get out of it before you ruin your life. <laughs>